Got another exam question walkthrough for A-level chemistry. So this is number 12 in the titrations playlist. It's suitable for all of the main exam boards in the UK. And as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so make a start. So obviously the titrus are just the um, final burette reading minus the initial. So you can see I've written them all in there. Just want to point out this one here. It's really, really important that you include that zero. So titration readings are always something point something five or something point something zero. So moving on to the mean titra that the student should use. So you never include the trial and you only include concordant results. So they are results that are within 0.1 of each other. And so therefore they are concordant one and three and we're ignoring two. So the mean titra is 22.50. And then moving on to the actual calculation itself, you can see I've done my usual thing, just sort of a little diagram showing what's happening in the experiment. So they've taken four of these supplements, dissolved them in some water. The SA just stands for succinic acid, this stuff here. So that's then put into a 250 cm cubed volumetric flask, obviously made up to the mark. They've taken 10 cm cubed out, not the usual 25, so just 10s come out for the titration, and they've titrated it with that 0.06 moles per decimeter cubed KOH. And we've just worked out that the mean titra is 22.50 cm cubed. So the first thing I'm going to do is work out the moles of KOH used in that mean titra. So that's just concentration times volume in decimeters cubed, 1.35 times 10 to the minus 3. And then we're going to use the mole ratio in the equation to get the moles of succinic acid in the 10 cm cubed. So obviously it's a 2 to 1 ratio. So we're going to half this number here to get the moles of acid. So that's coming out at 6.75 times 10 to the minus 4. And then we need to scale up to how many moles were in the 250 cm cubed. So that's going to be 25 times this number here, which comes out at 1.6875 times 10 to the minus 2 moles. And then we've got to think about, well, where did they come from? Where did this succinic acid come from? It came from here, which came from those four tablets. So the way I'm going to go now is I'm going to divide this number by 4, and that'll get us the moles of succinic acid in one tablet. So that's 4.21875 times 10 to the minus 3. And now all we need to do is convert that into grams by multiplying by the MR of succinic acid, which is 118, which comes out as that many grams, but they want the answer to three significant figures in milligrams. So we're going to multiply the grams by 1,000, and to three significant figures, that's going to come out at 498. So I hope that was helpful. I've done hundreds of these exam question walkthroughs now on lots and lots of topics for A-level chemistry. There's just some of them on the screen, all in separate playlists, so please check those out. And if you haven't already subscribed, why don't you consider subscribing to the channel so you know exactly when I've made a new video. Okay then, cheers, bye.